Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name's Jason Newland and this is Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. I'm just going to ask you to get yourself comfortable, ideally sitting in a chair that supports your body, or lying down on a bed or a sofa or something like that. You may hear the birds in the background, you may not. You may have some background sounds where you are. But those background sounds tend to just drift even further into the background. As you focus on my voice. And if you're listening to this with music as well. Any other background sounds may almost disappear. And you can take this time to just relax, to let go, to feel peaceful. You can allow yourself to to absorb that sense of relaxation coming from my words that you hear with your ears and that vibration of calmness can spread through your body. Spread through your mind, calming your mind and soothing your brain. And even if I wasn't talking to you right now, just by sitting there or lying down with your eyes closed with the full intention of letting go completely. Your body and your mind would automatically begin to relax. Because that's the natural state when we close our eyes we automatically start to calm down the mind slows down so there's less worrying less things to think about because there's less activity in your mind. Because you're sitting down or lying down, you're not really using the muscles of your body so they can just relax anyway. Just relax anyway. And of course, if I focus on a particular part of your body, for example, the back of your neck, then your attention will go to that area. And just naturally, 
you'll find the back of your neck starts to feel more relaxed just like mine is right now mm, feels nice feels nice I have to be careful that I don't fall asleep though while I'm doing this which has happened many times you could focus on your feet and your toes an area that maybe is used a lot and perhaps sometimes holds unnecessary tension And just by focusing on your feet and your toes, you notice a change. Now I noticed that the bottom of my feet, in fact the, the top as well, is starting to go a bit cold. Not unpleasantly, just, and not numb, but just cool. And relaxed. As if they're enjoying not being needed right now. And you could focus on your hands. Just notice how your hands feel. The palms of your hands the backs of your hands and your fingers and thumbs maybe the tips of your fingers maybe your fingernails maybe your knuckles some people like to just bend their fingers and it allows you to get more in touch with those tiny movements and all those small muscles tendons and bones in your hands all going into producing being able to use your hands and your fingers in such an amazing way They may be resting on your on your legs or maybe resting on the bed or the sofa. And you might notice that they're along with your arms feeling a bit heavier than they were before. You may notice when you focus on your knees which is a part that maybe you don't give much attention to although it's a very important part of our legs I guess we kind of a lot of us would take the knees just for granted I suppose and it's natural to do that quite often it's only when we hurt a part of our body that we realise how much that actually is useful or how often we use that part of the body the knees are definitely one of those parts and when you focus on your knees it's not just the top of your knees, it's the sides of your knees. It's that underneath your knees, you know, where the legs bend. That part which is often just ignored. The whole area. And as I focus on my knees... I'm noticing that 
it's a strange it's actually quite a strange feeling it feels as if there's a degree of heat coming off of my knees like a release almost of tension In fact, on my left knee, I didn't even realise that it's it was aching a little bit, and now that ache is leaving. So I wasn't in touch with how I was feeling in my knees until just now. And the more I allow myself to just be aware of your knees the more relaxed they become and any unpleasant feeling that was there before can just be released they also feel a lot looser I know that the knees are kind of they are the middle of the, you know, kind of a bone on their own or a gristle or whatever in the middle of, between the thigh and the calf kind of area, the shin but they also, they almost feel like they're completely separate like a very almost detached from the rest of the leg it, feel, it feels quite nice like it's just being taken away from the leg, just both of the knees, just for just for a short while. It's yeah, it's a nice feeling. It's very very pleasant, calming. And then you've got the similar part of your body in your elbows in the sense of you know you use your elbows to bend your arms but how often do we really give any attention to our elbows I think the only time I've generally give my elbows any attention as if I bang them and then it's like ow or a much louder ow if it's if it hurts but the rest of the time I just forget they're there As I focus on them now, I can feel them getting heavier along with my arms. And there's, there's almost like a, a slight stretch in them. Not uncomfortable, like this strange feeling a nice feeling, but a gentle stretch where the elbow separates from the forearm and the upper arm. I guess it's, it's like it's releasing tension and maybe that's why it's doing that. That's why the elbows are doing that very gently become heavier and more relaxed now before I started this recording I wasn't aware that I had that I had any kind of tension in my forehead and my eyes but I've noticed it now there's not a lot there. But 
as I focus on my forehead, focus on your eyelids and your eyes. I'm noticing that there's a, a cool breeze on, on my face and there's no reason for it really. It's not like I haven't got a fan or air conditioning on, but this almost just this cool breeze on my forehead and my eyes. It's almost like it's blowing through my head, through my forehead, blowing through my eyes and my eyelids, through my face, through my ears. So it's blowing in different directions. Now blowing through my jaw, my mouth, out of the back of my head. That breeze blowing into the bottom of my chin, just blowing all the way through my head, clearing out my mouth, my brain, almost just cleansing and clearing the clutter that was there before as that breeze moves freely through your face and head. Causing your eyes to feel heavy and relaxing more and more. And that breeze continues through your neck it's almost like the breeze becomes larger becomes the size of your body moving through your chest and your stomach out of your back moving through your arms and out the other sides your hands and out the other sides, moving through your hips, your groin, your buttocks, thighs, your legs, feet and toes. And not just moving through and relaxing your muscles deeply, but also cleaning away and clearing away any of those unwanted, unnecessary, pointless feelings of tension that you don't need, it's not doing you any good, it's not benefiting you, so you can let them go, let them be blown away, gently, blown away, gently. As you notice that your body and your mouth, your eyes, your nose, your ears, your scalp, your mind and your brain feels clearer, feels cleansed.
feels deeply relaxed. Deeply relaxed. And it feels nice to allow yourself to enjoy this experience of letting go completely, letting go completely, as that healing energy of deep relaxation spreads down the back of your neck, down your spine, spreading that deep relaxation and sense of peace into every part of your body. Deeper and deeper. More and more relaxed. So calm. So still. So relaxed. So peaceful, so still.